Hey everybody, happy Monday. I'm Natalia Bonner and I've got another fun quilt to share with you today. So this adorable quilt is made from Vanessa Gortson of Lella Boutique's Cathedral Pattern. And this version of the quilt was made by my friend, Katie Madsen. So Katie obviously has a way different color scheme than what Vanessa used on hers. I'm going to pause for a second and tell you, if you didn't check out the one, the cathedral quilt that I quilted for Vanessa, we've got a link down below. Check that out because it's so cute and it's fun to see how I quilted the same quilt, the same pattern, but two completely different ways. Also, I will mention that I do have more in-depth video through of this quilt and actually Vanessa's version as well over on my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner. Now I walk you step by step through my whole process of quilting, designing, deciding what to quilt where. So do check that out. But today, this little bit of the quilt that I'm going to share with you is the darker colored blocks. So if you did remember seeing Vanessa's quilt, I had quilted the darker colored blocks with some simple straight lines. I felt like that's what went best with the style, with the fabrics of Vanessa's quilt. But Katie's has just a little bit different feel because of the colors that she's using and the way that I chose to quilt her quilt. So even though they're kind of similar, they really do take on a whole different look. So I'm going to show you some of the, I call them fern feathers that I'm quilting on this one. I chose to do these, like I mentioned, on the dark colored blocks and I really love how it turned out. I'm actually going to show you the whole entire dark colored block. So another little kind of cheater tip or trick or something that I'll tell you is I try to never break my threads cut unless I really need to. So I'm going to quilt out all the dark section without ever cutting my threads as one whole entire unit traveling all the way around the block. So I hope it inspires each of you on your own machine quilting journey. The thread that I'm using here in this little section that I'm going to show you is so fine. The color number is 433. That's what I'm using on the top. And then on my bottom, I am using bottom line. The color that I'm using here is number 624. The batting that I'm using here is one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe, and you can pick up all those products over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. Let's get stitching! So now I've moved on and I'm working on the blue blocks. So everything that I was going to stitch using the white thread is complete and now I can move on. So I stitched all the way down the quilt and then came back up to the top of the quilt before I started again. I'll start out stitching this feather. Now like I said, I call it more like a fern type feather, something with more of a pointed leaf. But I'll start out stitching at that bottom point like I did with the other feathers, stitching right up the center, creating my spine first but this time the top of my feather is going to be a little bit more of like a point. So a kind of pointed melon type shape up there at the top. Stitch back down to the bottom and then I'll stitch these fun pointed fern feathers on the top side, then come back and stitch them along the bottom side. Obviously you could stitch in either order, top or bottom first. Through the center of all of these pieced blocks, like I said, I wanted to keep this a little bit more simplistic. So I'm going to totally free motion quilt point to point curves. Now, if you're struggling at all with these, these are great places, especially the sizes of these where you could use the medium and the smallest curve on the four in one machine quilting ruler to stitch out the same design. The other thing to notice here is how I work my way around this design. I do not like to cut my threads unless I really have to. So the way that I'm working my way through this design, I can stitch out this whole entire dark blue block without stopping and cutting my threads. Just one continuous line. That's what makes me happy. 